Myself Bhakur Pandey, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I will talk about the implementation of binary search. In the last video, I had explained that how we can create and insert a node in a binary search. Today we will focus how to print the total number of nodes in a binary search or how to count the total number of nodes in a binary search. So we will write a recursive function to find out the total number of nodes in a binary search tree. We know that the binary search tree is a special kind of a binary tree in which all the node from the parent are all the node from the parent are less than in the left side and all the node which is greater than parent on the right side. So first of all, how to create the particular node? So there is a structure struct node which contain data, left link and the right link. So let's say integer number, it is the value that we have to store inside a node and the two link one is point and the two link one is pointing to the left side, other is pointing to the right side. Pointer left and pointer right. Each tree is start with a root. So this is the root of the tree which is the starting point of a tree. So we will write starting point is the root. Now we will write a recursive function for to count the number of node in a binary search. So the function will return the value it means that the total number of nodes. Count is the name of function having a parameter that is the starting point of a tree. So execution start from the root. So here I pass a parameter so when the function is get called, we will have to pass the root as a parameter. Then inside the function, we will write if m is equal to equal to null. If it is null, it will return 0. So if it contain nothing, then it should return. If it contain nothing, then it should return 0. So when it reaches to the leaf node or child node or if the tree is empty, it will return null. Else, if it is not the case, then what we need to do, we will have to count the total number of node in the left side, total number of node in the right side and one root. So it is always 1 plus left side on the tree plus right side branch. So here I will write two variable, one will count the total number of node in the left side, other will count the total number of node in the right side. So here I write in the else part I write L is equal to count temp of left. So L will count the total number of node in the left branch. Left sub branch. R is equal to count temp right sub branch. So this will count the total number of nodes in the left sub branch. This will count the total number of nodes in this right sub branch. And then the function will return 1 plus L plus R. It means that total number of nodes in the left sub branch, total number of nodes in the right sub branch plus one parent. That is, you can say a root. Complete the else part, complete the function. So here I write the statement number 1, 2, 3. So these three statements are important when we execute this particular recursive code. Now we will write how to execute that particular function for this. We know that there are three important lines in the function. One is for the left side, one is for the R and one is for return the function for 1 plus L plus R. So here I write, write statement number 1, 2, 3. Statement number 1 is L, R and then the return. So here is L, here is written and statement number 3 which will hold the value that is written by the function. So when we call the function, root need to be passed to the function. Function execute and it will check whether temp is equal to none. Temp is not none, then this won't be executed. It comes into the else part. Count temp of left. 
This is again goes to the recursive one. So function is executed for again one, two, three. That is L R and the return function. Again, it will check whether temp is null. Temp is not null, so it won't be executed. Again, comes into the else part. So again, execute for L equal to count temp of it. Cursor goes to the again first line one, two, three. L R and function. Again, function comes to the starting point and check temp equal to null. Now temp is not equal to null. Then it enters into the else part. L count temp of left. It goes to the temp of left. Then function call again. What is temp of left now? It is null. So if it is null, it will return zero. So L will return zero and zero is stored inside the L. Coming towards the next line, after L, R is going to be next line is execute line number two. R equal to count temp of right. It goes into the temp of right. It is null. Function comes here. Temp of right is null. So if it is null, return zero. So the R also return zero. Then execute line number three. Return one plus L plus R. One plus L plus R. Zero plus zero plus one. So it is written one. So function will return one to the previous function. So L is equal to one when a call is executed. Why this L is equal to one? We are traversing the function in the left side unless and until temp is equal to one. So that whole function will return to the L that is one. Then we will execute for R. What is R? It is executed in the right side. So is there anything in the right side? It is empty. But the function call again in the Right side temp. Now temp is null. It will return zero. So this R will return zero. Line number three will execute. Return one plus L plus R. One plus L plus R. So one plus one is two. Total number of nodes is two. So this function will return two. And this whole value will be written to the L. That is two. Because function executed in the left sub branch. And we are reaching to the depth of the left, so all the values will be hold in the L. That is two. Now coming towards our right sub branch, now L is executed. Then R is remembered, so R is equal to count temp of right. Now it goes to the temp of right. Whether it is null? No, it is not null. Execute the function again. Three lines should execute for that node also. L R or this function also. Three line has to be executed. So it executes for left. When we call R here, that is count temp of right. It goes to the right side. Now it is not now. Then comes into the else part. L is equal to count. Now it again executes for line number one, line number two, line number three. So what is line number one? It is temp of left. So again call comes here. Whether it is now? No, it is not now. Then it again enters into the else part. So this function call. In the left side. So again, it called to the left side, but now it is null. Function is get called. Temp is equal to null. It will return zero. So L is written zero. Then execute for R. Count is equal to temp of right. It goes to the right side, but the right side is also empty. So temp is equal to null. It is written zero. Then execute the line number three. Return one plus L plus R. So zero plus zero plus one, so it will return one. And the whole result will be stored into L again because we are executing in the left sub branch. Then execute R. What is second number of second number line? R is equal to count temp of right. We we'll execute on the temp of right. Cursor moves to again to the function. Now temp is null, so it will return zero. So R will return zero. Then it has to execute line number three. Line number three is written one plus l plus r, so one plus l plus r is again two. One plus zero plus one is two. So the whole result is now it will be stored into the r because we are executing in the right sub branch. So whole result will be stored into r. So now l and r is executed. So what is line number three? It is remain written one plus l plus r. So it is one plus two plus two is five. So in this way. There are five number of nodes are in a binary search tree. Can execute a recursive code 
in this way for any kind of a binary search. So this is the recursive form. It will execute the function recursively and you will get a binary search tree which contains total number of so total number of nodes are five in this binary search. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe the channel.